What's up guys? I don't even know where to begin. You've already seen the title of the video and all that, so I might as well just get right into it. Dude, look at this. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at that. The Remus. Gone. Angled down. Right there. Cracked. All this. Cracked. It's insane, man. It's tragic. Hopefully this is repairable. I don't know. I have no clue. It's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, I won't really know until the insurance guys come and look at it. I'm taking it to the shop today and everything, but we'll find out soon enough. Dude, I don't even know where to begin. I was sitting at a stoplight and my own business just changed to a really good song. And 20 seconds after waiting at the light or so, just hear boom, right in the back. My car jolted forward like a good foot or two. I didn't hit the guy in front of me, thank God, because I have common sense to stay back a little bit, but dude, look at that. Look at that. Dude, I'm so sad. I am so sad. God willing, she'll be fine. God willing, she'll be fine. I don't have anything to worry about when it comes to the wills or anything back there. Let's look under the car. I haven't looked under the car yet. I can't tell too much of what's going on down there, honestly. But I take her in here within the next hour. So we'll see, we'll see. But guys, seriously, like, pay attention. Pay attention when you drive, you know? Thank God my car is fully paid off and I'm fully covered on my insurance, so. <sighs> we'll see. I can't even open my trunk, man. Look. I can't even open the trunk. The trunk is stuck closed. Right in there. That's plastic, thank God. I don't know, we'll have to see. I just hope the frame isn't too bent into where they can't do anything because I really want to keep this car. Love this car. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, like I said, I was um, sitting at the light, minding my own business, and then just boom, right in my back. And then I look in the rearview mirror and it's this Crown Vic. I look through this uh, side mirror and I'm like, what are you doing, bro? I was furious, I was pissed. I'm just happy I had my head all the way back and I was sitting back all the way against the seat so the jolt, I didn't like get whiplash or anything. I feel perfectly fine, I am perfectly safe, thank God, that's a blessing. Thank the man upstairs because it could have been a lot worse, you know what I mean? So that's that's one thing and at the end of the day this is just a car so my life is way more important than the Type R. And uh, it's just, ah uh, man, I'm getting mad thinking about it right now, honestly. And then they had the audacity to drive off like why man you just made it worse for yourself if you ever get caught like jesus i pray to god they catch them <sighs> dang man it's just so sad and tragic they had they just pulled off they went they went they drove right off uh the reason i didn't follow them was because i pulled over to the right next to this gas station so i didn't impede traffic i was just trying to get out the street and then i guess they had alternative motives i guess they had somewhere they got to be because they had to take a shit or something i don't know man but look at the shit man i could cry Right. God damn. They got me looking like tall guys McLaren out here. Bro, this looks like a dropped Coca-Cola can. Damn, bro. Oh. So sad. Now she dirty and dirty. She ain't clean no more. Tragic. Well, back to old faithful. Until hopefully this gets repaired. Back to old faithful. But she's still fully drivable. Uh, nothing too much I gotta worry about when it comes to driving her. So, if maybe if anything I can, uh, if if doesn't if this is not like the back repairable, hopefully I can still keep the car and just like swap off the bumper and <laughs> use it as a track car or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But we will see. We will see. Man, guys. Well, I'm on my way to the shop, and uh, I'll try to record what they say if possible i don't know yet we'll see 
But uh, damn, let me know in the comments what you guys think below. You guys think this is salvageable? You think it's not that bad on the frame? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put my stock exhaust back on there. It's still loud as a motherfucker though. I didn't check to see if the valves still work. The valves are still fully open, but oh, look at that, man. Oh, I could cry. Oh, I could cry. Every time I look at this, I feel like it looks worse and worse. Man. But for real, dude, why'd you have to drive off like that? Your insurance could have handled everything. If you had insurance, that's the only thing I could think of, like why they would drive off is they didn't have insurance, they were drunk or they were high or something. Like, I feel like when you're a Crown Vic, if you drive a Crown Vic, you probably are one of those three things, especially in uh, Colleen, so. Dang, man. Had this car for a little over a year and I've already gotten rear-ended. Not even my fault. I've never, I've never been in a car accident in my life. This is the first time I've ever been in a car accident. I really pride myself on being a safe driver. So like, that's just, Dude, why? Why, man? Hey, Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Back in business, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. We'll just have to see. We really just have to see. Only time will tell. And I'm thinking if they do, if they are able to repair it, I probably won't have the car for maybe like two weeks, three weeks. We'll see. But uh, Progressive seemed pretty sure that everything will go at a pretty good pace, at a fast pace. And uh, they already got my car in, so, in the shop today, so, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. As soon as they have the adjusters guy come and tear everything off and uh, they come look at everything and all that jazz, they'll be able to let me know whether or not it's repairable, how long it's going to take, and uh, all that jazz. All I got to do is just pay my deductible and then uh, they'll handle the rest, so make sure you guys have insurance so you're not the guy driving off and if you're me you're the guy who can fix your car insurance is key but first of all your life is way more important so at the end of the day but yeah i'm gonna get to it uh hopefully have some more news for you here soon the last time I'll hear that for a while bro let me tell you something else uh, when I got hit they knocked the beanie off my head bro I had the beanie on my head and I said whoop <laughs> it flew to the back but like I was saying I was sitting like this and then I just felt it and I was like no <sighs> all right guys several days later we're good cool all right guys, so it's been a couple days without the car and it's empty in here. All I got is Old Faithful out there. I don't know if you can see it because how bright it is. Old Faithful, nothing Old Faithful. But um, I was supposed to have this video up a couple days ago but I got sick so yeah, my bad. And uh, good news, I think the car is repairable. So we'll have to wait and see. I think I'll be getting it back the end of next week. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. So I um, just want to say, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what do you guys think of this whole situation. Uh, I really appreciate you guys so much. And appreciate you guys waiting on a whole new video. It also sucks because um, I also have car parts coming in. Well, car parts that I have ordered previously coming in. And I have some that have already come in that I could have already had on my car. But yeah cars in the shop so later guys thank you guys so much for tuning into the video have a good day